Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball 4 Box Random Letter Number 28 Random First Letter of Their First Name 28, 29, and 30 are from the same case, so this is from a fresh case There's all the letters plus the combos right there, all basketball Big thanks to this group as opposed to the previous Bowman U break we did Inception, which also includes a little football. All right, so let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a one, three times for names and letters. One, two, and three. We got Ruben down at Tristan. Two and a one, three times for the letters. One, two, three. And good luck. Third and final time. We got E G down to J. All right, Ruben with E G, Michael with F, Daniel with C, Michael with T D, Tristan with P, Ruben with A V, and S Avs. Ruben also has no and O. Tristan with W Z. Daniel with M. Ruben with K B L H. Tristan with R and J. Let's sort this alphabetically by letter. And I'm going to pause the video. I don't think there's going to be too many trades here, but I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to go run and grab the case. So uh, that's the trade window. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, and I did bring the case over here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it on a Wednesday. Saved it. Otherwise, there's going to be some boxes spilling around all over the place. All right. So let's take two off that side and two off this side. So now we have three stacks of four. These are third of a case break. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and then five, six on the dice roll. That's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is this stack we're going to do here. And then we'll do these next time. Tomorrow, probably? We'll probably run through both of these stacks tomorrow. Maybe some more Inception. All right. Good luck. It's a fresh case, four box from a fresh case, so hope uh, hope springs eternal here. Any uh, golf fans out there? The U.S. Open is here in Los Angeles, so there's been a little uh, little U.S. Open buzz in the air. Uh, I want to say. I'm going on Sunday, so I don't know who's covering for me on Sunday. Um, but I did take the Sunday off, took a little vacay day off. Going to use that to go see the final round of the U.S. Open on Sunday. Hopefully, it's a good one. So the tickets were kind of expensive. These <laughs> are kind of expensive, so I, ho I hope it's a. Uh... Ooh, we got a big Kahuna autograph up top. Like, I want to see, like, a playoff. <laughs> When's the last time a U.S. Open golf tournament has been in a playoff? Has it that? I mean, it must have. There's 120-some-odd U.S. Opens. Rex, just saw the supposed front runner to replace Pat Sajak, and it's not a surprise. Who, who's it going to be? 
Is it going to be James Corden? I say it's James Corden. He's not, is he not doing that show anymore? His late night show anymore? Take a guess. It go. It, it's a guy that does literally everything. It seems. Um. Uh. The. The the, the guy that does. The guy that does. Uh, that took over for. The New Year's Eve show. Ernest Uda. Ernest Uda Jr. Big Kahuna, eleven out of one fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, that guy. Seacrest, Ryan Seacrest, Seacrest out. Letter E, that's for Ruben. That's Jerace Walker to three ninety nine. That'll go to letter J. That's going to go to Tristan. Huh. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather see Anderson Cooper than Ryan Seacrest. But I guess, what's the demographic of people that watch Wheel of Fortune on a regular basis? I don't think that demographic crosses over with, say, for example, you guys. <laughs> so I suppose it's people that would, would want to see uh, someone like Ryan Seacrest during the day or during the early evening. It's Jaden Zachary, 212 out of 499. That's for the letter J, Tristan. Imagine Seacrest doing group breaks. Rex saying he might take my job. I'll bet C. Chris would do an excellent job doing group breaks, actually. He's a professional. He's great on, on screen, on camera. He's a handsome dude. People like watching him. You know, pretty family friendly, pretty mainstream. I'm sure he's a big, is he a big sports guy? I'm sure he likes sports. I'm sure he can figure that out. He's got a good voice. He could do group breaks. Caitlin Clark for Daniel in the letter C. I'm sure you can convince a lot of people to join some group breaks. Just the name recognition alone would bring hundreds of viewers, thousands of viewers maybe, to a YouTube channel. All right, there's the first box, box two. Can he sing? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if he's. I mean, I'm assuming he does. He's. How much do you think Ryan Seacrest makes you? You know what? I want to host. Uh, would you guys watch me do Wheel of Fortune? I want to do Wheel of Fortune. Rex, do you do you do you think my uh, do you think my my sarcasm and my cutting jibes uh, would would uh, do do well on Wheel of Fortune? Think that would work? Nah, I don't want to do Jeopardy. Jeopardy. I don't want to do Jeopardy. I'll do Jeopardy. Not Jeopardy. And if they change the show to Jeopardy, I'll definitely do it. This is Jeopardy. Do, do, do. And only if it's on like HBO, so I can curse. What up, MFers? Welcome to Jeopardy. I 
I, I don't know. But, see, I don't want to do Family Feud because that means that Steve Harvey is either out of a out of that job or he's dead. I, I, I like him as a host of Family Feud. Yeah, Family Feud. That's another one I would do. That's pretty good. You just you just interview people. You talk to people. I like talking to people. You know. Nah, I think someone did. Didn't didn't Michael Strahan bring back the pyramid, or something like that? I I, I like the show, but the host doesn't really do much. Same with Jeopardy. The host doesn't. The host just asks questions or gives you answers, then you ask questions. Chris Murray for Ruben and the letter K. But like. But like Wheel of yeah, and Wheel of Fortune's kind of like that too. I guess you're right, Rex. I think I'd if, if I had a game show to choose from, to host, I think Family Feud would be up there. We did watch a lot of Feud during the pandemic, when there was no sports. One of my favorite "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" ep episodes also parody. They call it Family Fight, but also parodies Family Feud. Mark Mitchell going to Daniel. Salida of Austin. You know, but Family Feud out because then you get you interact a little bit, and then when 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 people give you give you bad answers and their entire family saying good answer, good answer, I could be like, no, bad answer. Nice Brandon Miller, orange shimmer for Ruben and the letter B. Seven out of twenty-five, Brandon Miller. No, Hollywood Squares. No, match match game. No, you should have quit while you're ahead, Rex. You should have stuck with Family Feud. Now you're now you're just now you're just throwing. Now you're just now you're just spitballing right now. No, you had it right the first time. Uh, yes, you are B. Ru you're Ruben, right? You got the letter B, and I called it for you, Brandon Miller, Ruben with letter B. Did I not call it for you? Here's a Marcus Sasser Invicta Ray Wave to 150. I don't know. Maybe I said something different on the. You can you can go back. You can DVR it. You can go. Make sure you come back live though, to the live point of the stream. Wait. So. Is Brandon Miller in trouble or is he not in trouble? What's the what's the story now? I think initially, I haven't followed the story too closely, but initially he was in trouble, and then they were like, "Nah, he's good because he wasn't like directly involved in like the shooting." Because I think he played afterwards, right? Is that the same guy, or am I thinking of someone else? In it. Okay, good. I think he was peripherally involved, but not directly involved. Not enough for him to, get, you know, to get in trouble. I guess. Well, that's good. Ah, it was his gun that he gave to a teammate. That's what Tyler thinks, you believe. I thought it was someone else's gun that he delivered there. That he gave to, that he drove over to the friend. And then he left the scene after that, which is, I, I think that's the crucial bit. Regardless of ownership, I think the fact that he left Probably was one of the better decisions he made. He's like, yep, I'm not going to hang around here. <laughs> See you guys.
Ooh. Redemption. Yeah. Ooh, an orange big kahuna. I like that. Arterio Morris for Ruben in the letter A. Now I know RJ RJ Ruben's heart rate up a little bit. On that redemption. Because if you, if any of you have been watching these breaks pretty, pretty closely, it's Jaden Zachary Ray Wave autograph, 002 out of 199. That's for Tristan and the letter J. There's Mark Mitchell to 299. All right, those are our autographs. Right? That's one. That's two over there. And unless there's a super fractor in this, I don't think anyone really cares about the rest of these cards. Oh, there's another autograph. Oh, wait, was that from the previous box? Now I'm confused. Deron Holmes. Letter D, that's for Michael. A big kahuna, Caitlin Clark. What a box. I like what I'm seeing here. He's pretty darn good. Ultra competitive from, from, uh, from what I hear. She is fearless. She is fierce, fearless. You know, has that Mamba mentality. All right, let's see who that redemption is going to be. Good luck, everybody. All right, congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph parallel of We should see the first letter of his name soon. Ooh. Not that person, but I think the other person, though, this is still good. It's Scoot Henderson. Now, Ruben has letter V, not a victor, but you also have letter S for Scoot Henderson, who's probably going to be the number two overall pick. Not the victor, but this is still pretty nice. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. Although I feel like there there have been some who have argued who, you know, a small minority of people, a small group of people will probably try to tell you that, that uh, Scoot Henderson is probably going to be the better pick. We were talking about um, we were talking about just to put a bow on this other conversation that I left dangling was uh, was when's the last time the U.S. Open golf had had gone to a playoff? Because I'm going on um, I'm going on Sunday, which is going to be a lot of fun. I enjoy the golf, and I was like, man, it'd be it'd be the best if I get a full day of watching golf at LA Country Club, which I'll probably never set foot in 
in any other circumstance, unless there's an event happening there. We want to play off with some of the top. I don't want someone like 10 strokes ahead going into Sunday. You know, then you're like, all right. But the last playoff was a long time ago, 2008. Where Tiger Woods beat uh, beat Rocco at uh, Torrey Pines, the South Course Torrey Pines. I know RJ, but better than uh, better than uh, nothing. <laughs> He's got number two overall pick. L.A. Country Club. The one next to uh, the Westfield Shopping Center in Century City, which is on Santa Monica Boulevard. And I think Wilshire cuts in between the North Course and the South Course. They built a bridge over that. The USGA built a, a pedestrian bridge, I think, to connect so people don't have to wait at the stoplight at like the Beverly Hilton or wherever that is. I think there's a Trader Vic's there on the corner. It's the first time that that, that that country club has been around since the early 1900s. I think it's the first time they've hosted a major championship. I think it's, I don't even know if they've hosted a PGA Tour event, let alone a major. Maybe it has. Maybe a major it hasn't hosted. There's Race Thompson to 299. But it's this weekend, first round tomorrow. I gotta make my bets, I gotta put my my pool picks in, I'll be working on that tonight. There's Trey White for Michael in the letter T. Oh, that's the Ray Wave parallel, and that's number to 199, by the way. Got a Caitlin Clark base. That's going to go to Daniel. We got Ernest Uda Jr., 24 out of 50, gold shimmer. Nice. Letter E, Ruben. And that, my friends, is almost that. Drace Walker, Tristan with letter J, is your final auto. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.